Morning, Trainiacs. We have a eh, just a moderately busy day the day before the Ironman World Championship. We have a new Power Tap product to go see, like 48 hours old. A little bit of a meetup at the Ventum booth with all kinds of Trainiacs that are here in Kona, and uh, probably gonna spend a lot of time waiting on NTK. Shh, don't tell her I said that. Trainiacs, we have ourselves brand spanking new box of the new PowerTap P2 pedals. Besides the silver color, it doesn't really look much different than the P1s. And it's sort of like, remember when I said that the original Cyclops hammer and the Cyclops H2, it's like sort of like, like an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6S in like an iteration. This is not that much different. It's silver as opposed to the black that I've got. But what they did that I was just chatting with Brian here from PowerTap, he was, he was explaining that they were listening to all of the issues that were coming up time after time with the P1s over the last three years. And I said, all right, like here are the things that we can consistently fix and make better and just across the board fix for users. So number one, everyone said that they were too heavy. So they took the PowerTap P1s and they machined out a ton of the material that's inside the aluminum here so there's less actual material but it's still just as stable and it brings it down to under 400 grams so it's about 10 percent lighter and in addition to that people were saying i never found this i always found the battery life to be fairly reliable like it was it was not like i'd even remember the last time that I had replaced the batteries before I had to replace the batteries, but they state now that instead of 60 hours of ride time, it's 80 hours of ride time, but that's for somebody that is going for a one hour ride to a coffee shop and then home, or a half hour ride and then home, and there's lots of startup, like wake up cycles, and they've changed that by, there was in the original pedals, two analog to digital uh, communicators, one was talking to the other and saying, here is the reading that I'm getting. And this one's saying, here's the reading that I'm getting. And this one's saying, yeah, I got that reading too. This is what I'm getting. And they would go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And that would end up tearing down the battery life to that 60 hours. They've taken out one of those, those readings because what they did was they tested for about six months what would happen if they took out one and they said there was never even a failure with one. So even though these guys were talking back and forth and back and forth through the P1 to make sure it was getting the right reading, they had never really got a false reading. So they didn't really need that, extended the battery life to 80 hours, which if you're going for longer rides, like you're going for your two, your three, your four hour long rides, it's going to be closer to 100 hours. And you guys know that I like the P1s. DC Rainmaker likes the P1s. They are really reliable. You can take them from bike to bike, probably the easiest power meter to get consistent on bike to bike with uh, another bike uh, power reading company known rhymes with Farman. Uh, their pedals, even talking to some of the Farman reps, they've said that they have some problems with them. I've never had problems with these. And price wise, coming in at $899, it's $100 more than the P1s. And the increase in price is because they made the seal tighter on the inside so that no water can get in, no dust can get in, less chance of failure, more reliable readings, less chance for a warranty issue. And that price of the 899, it's $100 more than the P1, but it's cheaper than the Garmin Vectors, and it's cheaper than the P1s were when they came out, which was 1199. So you're still getting probably the most reliable power pedals out there. That's easy to use across bikes at the cheapest price. So I'm into them. When do I get to use these, Brian? As soon as you want to. As well, soon as I want to. November 15th. <laughs> November 15th. There we go. <laughs> Stay tuned. Full reviews will happen November 15th or after. I know, she's awesome.
when it's done. Have you guys ever been to Hawaii? So, that there was super fun. Thank you to everyone who ended up coming and saying hi. I say this every time we do a meetup, but it always astounds me when I think back to the friend that told me when I did the very first YouTube video that I ever did, and she was like, oh, you could be YouTube famous. I'm like, seriously, nobody's gonna take time to watch me. I'm just an idiot from Canada. Fortunately, people like idiots from Canada, apparently. Dry ice. So I talked about this a few weeks ago, but I was trying out this, this frozen spirulina, this SP2 life leading into half Ironman world championships. And I was super skeptical of it because I don't tend to go in for a lot of those like, this supplement will improve your VO2 max. This creatine will improve your muscle absorption. I don't know. But I was having the best workouts I've ever had with this. And uh, you're gonna be hearing a lot more about this frozen spirulina from SP2 because I love it. And they sent me out a little care package here while I was in Hawaii. So, training up. There, where to watch the Ironman World Championship? Well, few things. Number one, best place, this is like total game changer that Ironman is doing. Go to facebook.com forward slash Ironman now. They are streaming 20 hours of Ironman coverage live. This is the first time in history that it is going to be streamed like start to finish, as well as this is with commentary. Sunday, apparently there's going to be a short recap show on NBC. If you want to just follow along on social media, our Instagram, just at Triathlon Terran, NTK is going to be womaning the Instagram stories, kind of keeping everything updated. And unlike last year where we all lost iPhone battery power, check this baby out. 6,000 milliamps of power. Ain't nobody losing power tomorrow. So stay tuned to that. Also, Talbot Cox will probably have some of the first photos up. So go search him out on Instagram. And just like last year, we are going to work like crazy to get our entire 13, 14, like the entire video up the very next day. We won't be doing like a big sexy video the day of because you're watching this the day of and we're gonna be shooting it the day of, but the Sunday, the day after Kona, you can count on us, pals. So if you aren't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button below. If you are subscribed, you are like Kona Eve. So exciting. Do I have, do I have something? Got it. Later, Trainiacs.